How do you move from a business model to deciding whether your idea is worth pursuing? You have to consider the big picture, the macro level of the business, the specific details of your particular idea, the micro level, and you have to think about the capabilities, aspirations and resources of the team that will make it happen. Using Alex Osterwalder's business model canvas, you'll have mapped out the value proposition, customers, customer relationships, distribution and communication. You'll know what key resources you need and what the key activities will be, allowing a first idea of revenue and costs. And you'll have identified the partners you need to make it happen. To migrate this to a full business plan, there's further work to be done. You'll need to know more about the numbers, the market, the competition, the size of the opportunity, the technical challenge. Fit this together and you're on the way to making the business work. As Eric Ries says, great entrepreneurs don't have better ideas, they have better processes. And the process that will help you was developed by John Mullins, the new business road test. It looks like this. On the left, the market at both a macro and micro level. On the right, the industry, also in a macro and micro view. Later, we'll come to your team using three team domains. But put simply, on the left, there's everything you need to know about your customers. On the right, everything you need to know about your competitors. Starting with your potential customers, there are key micro factors in the business model canvas. To which market segment do you offer clear benefits? Are these benefits superior to other offerings? How large is the segment and how fast is it growing? Can we use it to access other segments in future? And at a macro level, what political, economic, social or technological drivers shape the market? Are they running in your favour or is this a market that will decline? What's the short-term growth rate and what's the long-term growth potential? Moving on to the industry, you must do a macro-level competitor analysis. How hard is it to enter this industry? How easy is it to win market share? Who sets the terms and conditions? And is the industry one of intense rivalry? At the micro-level, you need to establish the sources of your competitive advantage and how these might be protected. Do you own proprietary elements that are hard to imitate or duplicate? Can you develop superior processes? Do you have sustainable competitive advantages that are valuable, rare, hard to imitate, difficult to substitute? V-R-I-S. It's frequently said that external investors are more likely to back an A team with a B idea. Mullins's model explores the founding team using three team domains. Do you have a shared vision, aspiration and propensity for risk? the ability to execute on critical success factors, appropriate domain knowledge connecting up, down and across the supply chain. That's the new business road test.